we were setting up a meeting at a church. I was I I hung this I hung this sign up, and the guy that was with me, Terry, said, "You got it upside down." And I said, I thought, that's a weird thing for him to say. And I turned around. And he said, "You're having a stroke." That's exactly what happened here. His friend recognized the symptoms, and he was transferred to um, Lawrence and Memorial Hospital in New London where their stroke neurologist correctly identified that a stroke syndrome was happening. They did a plain CAT scan of his head to make sure there wasn't any bleeding in the brain. And then they accessed our telestroke program. And on the other end of that teleprompter then, or that, that uh, telecommunication device, was Joe Schindler, who happens to be the director of our acute stroke program and an outstanding stroke neurologist. And so Dr. Schindler and the stroke neurologist at uh, LNM recognized that uh, Bill was having a very large, devastating type stroke, the type of stroke that would have left him unable to communicate and would have left him with a significant paralysis. The next thing I remember is getting strapped into the helicopter to go to Yale. And in patients with these IVTPA resistant strokes, these large territory strokes, the types of strokes that leave you not able to speak or communicate, that leave you uh, plegic on one side of your body, the devastating strokes, that for those strokes, pulling out the clot mechanically by an endovascular intervention actually improved outcomes. And because he's awake, what we, what we see is that almost instantaneously with restoration of blood flow, there's an immediate improvement in his clinical exam. So on the table, he's able to start speaking when he wasn't able to before. He's able to start moving the right side of his body when he wasn't able to before. We can't develop these types of advanced systems at every hospital in Connecticut. They're too, they're too resource intensive. So we need to develop a construct, a paradigm in which the community recognizes strokes are happening early, get to a hospital that can deliver IV TPA, and then are triaged appropriately to some hub centers that can offer mechanical thrombectomy for, for, for specific patients. This is really wild. This is wild what they can do today. I'd say thank you very much. Um, you guys saved my life. This is profound. Yeah, this is profound for an aging population that's gonna you know, have strokes, this is profound. It's gonna impact a tremendous number of people. It's gonna save the health system money uh, for patients that would have been unable to go back to work, that would have been bound to full-time care, to nursing home facilities. Uh, you know, it, it is not an underestimation that this is a major breakthrough in medicine.